All right, what's going on, everybody? Sunday, March 5th. I'm uh, just making a quick video with my phone here. I um, guess better explaining the tile lines uh, to some people. And also, uh, I'm going to propose one of my ideas uh, that I just kind of thought of to maybe control the erosion a little better in these tile lines. So I want to see what people think, if they're thinking like I am or if they think it'd be a good idea or a bad idea. So tile lines, um, I have a chunk of, this is four inch, I think. Um, they would put, uh, well, let's see, before I get it carried away. So Ellingson Drainage did ours about, uh, it's been all of 15, 20 years, I bet. Came out of CRP ground. So in like big field, this is a 27 acre field, but in big fields, what they would do, you can see there's a knob, valley knob and then it goes back down if this was a big field they might run like a 12 inch main they probably make them bigger 18 inch i don't know but they run what they call a main and then they would connect these four inch or if it's a longer run maybe a six inch up to the mains and the main would probably drain down i don't have the map in front of me but i imagine it comes down and then comes down the edge of the field and into where the creek is right so this is what the tile looks like, okay? So it's flexible. You know, it bends when you put it in with a plow or if you make a turn or you go up over something. You don't want to do that, but sometimes whatever. This piece is broke. And over time, that, that can happen out in the field too. You don't put it deep enough, big heavy grain cart or combine or something comes over it. It crushes it. It loses its effectiveness. Um, Actually, our basement flooded because a chunk like this got crushed by a tree root. Tree roots are big ones too. Tree root crushed it and uh, flooded our basement because our gutters are tied into our, the drainage around our house, which drains out to the field. And that plugged and it seeped through the foundation somehow. And uh, voila, so that was the video in the summer when I posted that New Holland backhoe uh, when I was re replacing a few chunks of tile there. It's all because of tile like this. Maybe we should have put better stuff in, but 25 years. I think the lifespan generally people say, excuse me, 20 years. Sometimes a little longer, depending on the traffic that goes over it. So um, the water shoots in here and comes out. I'll walk in there, but you can see the holes, right? So in the ground, you put it in. The water seeps through those, those little slits there. Um... Some of the newer stuff I've seen, I've never helped install it. It's got like a sock or a sleeve over the top of it to prevent some of the dirt from going in there. And so just the water seeps through because dirt can get in there. You get a tree branch in there and the dirt gets stuck on the tree branches or something. Rats crawl up there, whatever, plugged. So the sleeve is just like an extra set of protection. I don't know if they use that in like big fields. I'm not sure. Some of the videos you see over in Europe, it looks like a lot of the stuff they put in has sleeves on it. So our water, this is one of three mains in the 22nd, 27 acre field. And you can see it coming out right there in a solid steel pipe there. Um, they change it there probably for durability where it starts out. So it's not this stuff, but at some point out in the field, it transitions to this, right? So um, my grandpa used to have cattle here. And I don't think it was ever this bad, but it was definitely to a point because he, the fence is right over here. And he had cattle here when it was all just CRP, but the cattle fence is right there. I'm gonna zoom in on it. Right, so he had it at the top of the hill. So obviously there was a little bit of a dip. Um, leave that there for now so it don't slip. Over here, you can see we dumped rocks from the rock pickers and stuff in here in an attempt to stop because there's not even that much of the field there to like to have a run of water to make this happen I, I don't I don't imagine that happening so this side kind of confuses me might go with, with what one of the guys suggested with big concrete slabs you maybe try to get one lay on this way so it holds the dirt and then drop one here and hold the dirt kind of like sediment barriers you know like the guys are putting in the fields over here where the tile line actually comes through if I can prevent myself from not falling down the hill. Where the tile line actually comes through, it's not near as bad as over here, because this is all of a 90, that's straight down. Over there, probably 80 degrees. Not a lot of vegetation can grow. Uh, a lot of washouts. I, hmm. 
I don't know what's going on over there. Over here, not near as bad. Um, still, you know, you can see the slit here. I'm gonna try to climb down and slip my way down because it's very greasy, muddy out. Um, wah. So, water will come out there one more time, maybe. Big baby. All right. So the water comes out there, obviously. <clears throat> and uh, you can see right below it, it's, it, it's washed out pretty good, dug itself out. Then the water gets slowed by, down by some branches and some rocks and some bigger rocks. And, and there it washes out pretty good again right before that tree right there. It washes out pretty good. And then it makes itself down to the creek. Okay. So my thinking is what I thought of last fall. I was walking around down here. What if a guy took some tile, connected it, ran it down the hill, and into the into the creek? That way there would be no water washing out here. It would all obviously stay in the tile and be down there and just down there. Then I got to thinking, is that too extreme? The water is obviously going to, it slows down. The rocks, trees, everything slows the water down. If I put it in a tile and shoot it straight down, it's going to pick up speed, and if I shoot it straight into that creek, I'm going to increase the erosion down in the creek, right? So I got to thinking about that last night. So I got to thinking, what if I take the water flows this way? If I ran the tile down and then turned it this way, in the creek I turned it and shot it upstream, right? The water would have to fight its way out, likely the tile would be full, but the pressure because it's all of a all of a uh, 25 foot drop, the pressure from the water pushing down would be enough to water would still come out of that and tile and go around it and down, right? Where I think that would slow it down. The water would be slow enough where it'd be okay and not have any adverse effects. Where I could also stack some bigger rocks around it too, um, branches and and do something with the, where the water would come out down there. Um, if anybody has better ideas. Well, first of all, if you think that's a good idea, let me know. If there's better ideas, let me know. But if you think that running the tile down the hill is a good idea, and you have a better idea of which way to let the water run out, or if I, you know, point it up and let it bubble out and put some rocks underneath it, let me know what you think uh, should happen with the water down there once it gets down there. But I think that would prevent a lot of uh, side hill damage and uh, just trying to prevent, preserve some land here. So let me know what you think, guys. And if you have more questions on the tile, I can link a video. Um, if you have questions, I can show you how we put it in in the big fields uh, with the tile plow. So the dog's getting a little too far away. Rocky, let's go. He's loving it. He doesn't come down here by himself. So Yeah, so there was a washout. This isn't all from uh, field tile. There's obviously a new house here that somebody built. And I don't know what they, that might be from them over there, the drainage. Um, something else is going on here too. There's a big 200 acre field. The majority of that water stays back there though. So if you guys have comments uh, on how you think this should be handled, better ways, the concrete, I like that idea. It'd be hard to get it in here though, right? It'd have to be maybe some smaller slabs. I can move, I can drop them in with the skid loader and I can shovel, you know, bar them down into place. but be honest right now I'm leaning towards the tile chunk chunk of tile so if you think that's a good idea great if you think you say oh boy if you say don't do that that's a bad idea let me know what else you think I should do before I go crazy and doing that and uh, let me know because I'm by no means an expert when it comes to tile or um, erosion control so I just thought I should do something down here so thanks for watching guys